We do know there is a suspect in custody tonight in China accused of stabbing four instructors from Cornell College while they were visiting Jinlin City over the weekend. All four at last check are still in the hospital tonight. Iowa's News Now reporter Senator Bolton III is live in studio with us getting the latest in the situation. Mitch, everyone from the governor to the Iowa's representatives in Washington said they're doing everything they can to bring the Cornell instructors home safely. The campus in, the campus in Mount Vernon is mostly clear, cleared out for the summer, but one student I talked to today says she's just trying to wrap her head around everything as her small Midwest school makes international headlines. It's crazy to me. Like, it's not a good attention, obviously, because people got hurt, but I, I never thought, like, Cornell College would be on the news for something. And, yeah, it's, it's very scary, honestly. All four instructors still recovering right now, but a Chinese foreign ministry spokesperson says no one's in critical condition. And U.S. officials and Iowa leaders says they're working to bring the four of them back home. Among the victims, the brother of Iowa City State Rep Adam Zabner. Representative Zabner tells CNN his brother David is doing well and that this was the second trip to China. The instructor's visits are part of a partnership between Cornell and Beihua University. No students were on the trip, but one Cornell student who's traveled abroad with the college says there are safety protocols in place when it comes to going overseas. The protocols that we talked about were just not talking to strangers, um, steering clear of like being alone with other people. If people asked us to go into their shops, we'd say no. Just staying in groups, just not going alone anywhere. Police haven't gotten a motive for the attack, but say the 55-year-old suspect bumped into one of the instructors in a public park before the stabbing, calling it an isolated incident and a random attack. I was just really, really surprised because I knew they'd gone to China before and we have study abroads. Um, all the time at Cornell and nothing ever has happened. The news come at a delicate time for the relationship between China and America, with growing tensions over trade, Taiwan and TikTok, while both Beijing and D.C. have been working to expand people-to-people -people exchanges and get more young Americans to study in China. Cornell College officials tell us they're still working on the logistics. They're not expecting any more updates tonight, and we still don't have any sort of timeline yet on when the instructors will be back home. In studio, Senator Bolton III, Iowa's News Now.